Welcome to the last lecture of chapter 2, which is going to be a tutorial. We're going to discuss part of problem 2.5. So let's see what problem 2.5 is about. You have a CSTR and a plug flow reactor, each with a volume of 1.6 cubic meter. Use the given level speed plot to calculate the conversion for each of the reactors in the following arrangement. So first CSTR followed by a plug flow reactor, then plug flow reactor followed by a CSTR. Of course, this is the only two options you have in terms of arrangement. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? As you can see, the kinetics data are given so we have here x and minus ra therefore we can calculate x uh, versus f a naught over minus ra as you can see okay in fact i'm not going to solve show you how to solve the both arrangement i'm going to only show you the first portion of the first arrangement which is str followed by plug flow reactor so what do we do let us begin with writing the design equation for uh, CCR, which is the first reactor. So the first reactor is simply CCR followed by second reactor, which is plug flow reactor. So let's concentrate on the first reactor that is CCR and find the conversion, the achievable conversion. Okay, so we say the sizes are given. Let me write the size here. V C S T R equals V plug flow reactor equals 1.6 cubic meter. Okay, great. Okay, so let's start with the C S T R. Let's write the design equation for C S T R. That's V1. Okay, equals if a naught divided by minus ra1 times x1 okay so we have the volume we want to calculate the conversion however we cannot calculate the conversion directly although that volume is given because this term is also unknown to us Say okay, so we need to do trial error. So let's assume x1 equals 0.4. Okay, and let's do the calculation. I'm not gonna write the one here, so let's see v equals f a naught over minus r a times x and x is 0.4, so that means f a naught over minus RA is 2.05 right and the answer is will be 0.82 cubic meter right so let's compare let's see we have the V calculated okay is less than the V actual what does that mean that means I could achieve more conversion than only 0.4 correct therefore 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 let's assume okay so we have since v calculated is less than v actual let's assume okay actually should be letter because it's a continuation of the previous let's assume let's here assume x to be greater than 0.4 right so let's assume now x1 equals let's say what would you like to do would you like to say 0.6 yeah that's good because we have the values there 0.6 so now let's calculate 
P again. V equals here we have 0.6, okay, and corresponds to this value of a naught over minus R A. So that is multiplied by 3.54, and this shall give you a value of 2.124. 2.124 cubic meter so now what do we have now we have the v calculated is more than the v actual so in fact in fact this conversion is way larger than what would be achieved okay because this Conversion 0.6 requires this much volume, but I don't have this much volume, right? How much volume do you have? Well, I have only 1.6 Right, so that means conversion Therefore Let me write this here Therefore conversion must be greater than 0.4 and less than 0.6. What would you like it to be? What would you like it? What would be your the other guess? Well My other guess you know, my other guess should be somewhere in between where it could be 0 0.42, 0 0.45, 0 0.5, 0 0.51, 0 0.52. So you have endless options. So if you want to minimize your option, you can do some interpolation, linear interpolation, which is wrong because I know that the relationship between X and volume is not linear however i would just you know assume it's linear and we'll put we'll put a volume of 1.6 and i want to see what conversion get, gets me okay uh, what what other numbers you're going to use well you're going to use the following numbers 0.82 and the conversion was 0.4 and then when you had 2.124, we had the conversion of 0.6. So I'm going to calculate, you know, roughly what a good start. Is this correct? It's only, you know, only guess. Okay. Only educated guess. Let's see. Educated guess. Okay. So let's do that. Okay, so when we do this, we get uh, a good initial guess of 0.52. So let's assume now, let's assume x1 equal 0.52 and repeat the whole step again. Okay, so you keep trial and error, you keep the trial and error until actually we get a good guess for x but now the problem is if you say that okay, let me make it clear here the problem now is if we come to calculate v so v equals if a naught divided by minus r a times x right so if we can calculate now the if a naught over minus r a at x of 0.52 do we have a value here? We don't have a value, right? So now we can interpolate. And is it fine to interpolate? Well, it's very much fine because let's see the relationship between if a naught and x between 0.4 and 0.6 is yeah, acceptable if we take it as a linear relationship. Okay, so that's why we use the two point linear interpolation and of course you know how to do interpolation so you know by interpolation at x equal 0.52 you have f a naught over minus r a equals as I did it from my side was let's see what was it there it was around 
for cubic meter. And you know how to do interpolation, so I'm not showing you the procedure. And now you calculate again V, so V we have here 0.52 times 2.94, and the answer is Of course, it's not satisfactory, so you're going to assume, you know, a larger x, correct? You're going to assume a larger x because you will have larger volume, closer to 1.6 and so on. So after you repeat all of this, you will get an answer. What's the answer? Well, the answer that I have obtained, the answer which I have obtained is as follows. Let me frame it here. This is the answer which I got. I got a conversion of 0.54. Okay. And then you repeat. You repeat the procedure now for plug flow reactor, the second reactor. And I, again, try an error. I found the X to be 0.84. Okay. So that's the answer which I found when I had CCR of uh, CSTR followed by plug flow reactor. So first CSTR, then plug flow reactor. This is X1, this is X2. Okay, and this is the area representing the volume. So obviously both areas are the same because the CSTR volume is the same as plug flow reactor 1.6. Okay, but it, it depends how far it will take you for a conversion. Okay, then I repeated the same procedure for plug flow reactor followed by CSTR and the answer which I found was this okay so x1 this for plug flow reactor and then x2 this for CSTR so looking at these data okay looking at this data if you don't have any other concerns only the sequencing of the reaction should you put CSTR first then plug flow reactor or plug flow reactor then CSTR which one you gonna choose which sequence you're going to choose? Well, obviously, obviously, you will tell me you will choose the sequence. Why? Because it gives you higher overall conversion just by changing the sequence. Okay, so I hope now you get an idea of sequencing of reactor and how to deal with it. Of course, Shabab, now we're doing trial and error, but in future, you will not need to do trial and error because you can find an equation which relates v to x okay so you can solve it straightforward analytically type in summary we have seen that in the design of reactors that are to be operated at conditions example t and initial concentration so at, operated at conditions identical to those at which the reaction rate data were obtained, we can size both CCRs and plug flow reactors alone or in various combinations. Okay, so if you say, well, I need to design reactor that are operated at a given condition, and then at these conditions, I already have the kinetic data. We can easily size CCRs, plug flow reactors, CCRs in series, plug flow reactors, combination of these whatever okay in principle it may be possible to scale up a laboratory bench or pilot plant reaction system solely from the knowledge of minus ra as a function of x or ca however for most reactor systems in industry a scale up process cannot be achieved in this manner because knowledge of minus ra solely as a function of x is seldom if ever available under identical conditions between the lab and the actual conditions so what do we do in chapter three we shall see how we can obtain minus ra as a function as an function as an equation mean of x from information obtained either in the laboratory or from the literature this relationship will be developed in two steps okay in step one we will find the rate low so have first I have to find the rate law that gives the rate of uh, the rate of reactions a function of concentration and in step two we will find the concentration as a function of conversion 
Okay, then combine step one and two in chapter three, we obtained minus RA as a function of conversion, obviously. Okay, we can then use the methods developed in this chapter along with the integral and numerical methods to size reactors. Okay, with this, we finish chapter two. Looking forward to you joining us in chapter three. See you soon.